I did have a PowerPoint presentation organized. That's all right, we can wing it a little bit here. I want to talk about Mono Fruit Island, which I've done quite a few times. I've done two weeks of mangoes, about, yeah, twice on just banana smoothies for about 10 to 14 days. I've done um, data raid for seven days, and I ate over 500 dates that week. So 500 days. How many boxes is that? How many boxes? I think there's about 200 in a box. So it's like two and a half boxes. And oh, I was just loving it. You know, the thing about Mono Fruit Island is when you get to the end of it, some other people might be different, but I've heard a similar experience. When you get to the end of it, you just want more of that fruit. You know, you don't want to eat other fruit. It must be too loud. <laughs> yeah, so you just want more of that fruit. It's an amazing experience. And I actually recommend people do it rather than fast. You know, I think fasting is totally abused all the time. You know, people shouldn't be going and fasting when they're perfectly able, they're walking around, they're fairly healthy, but they want to lose weight or something like that, something small. You know, if you go on Mono Fruit Island, you will, it, it's not about losing weight. You, know, you probably won't lose much weight. I didn't at the time. It wasn't about that. But you can heal so many things. You can heal digestive issues, skin problems. And if you're trying to go 100% high carb or vegan, it can help you stay on track. Like it help, help you get on track, I should say. Another thing, what did I do? Yeah, I did melons for almost a month. Melons for a month. That was pretty amazing. But melons, like, you don't really get enough calories. You know, melon's like a food that I call like a negative calorie food, meaning that it takes more to digest the food than the food actually gives. Like, your body expends more calories to digest the food than what it gives. So, you, your, your energy levels won't be that great. Bananas is always the best. Melons and mango mono meals for 30 days. I highly recommend this. Like, it, it really is an amazing experience. Has anyone thought about doing it? Yeah. Cool. They're good. Okay, I'm talking to the right crowd. Yeah. <laughs> so, a few of the benefits, amazing mental clarity and ha happiness. Like, I have that amazing mental clarity now and the happiness factor. But this just, it's like, I'm here, but Mono Fruit Island is like... Yeah, it's like, it's crazy. It's like the ultimate. But I, I don't recommend people do it forever. You know, for me, the ultimate diet, like the... The best way to eat is to have mono meals every meal. That is the best. But to get variety. So, variety over the week or variety over the year, but not at mealtime. So, mono meals are definitely the best. And your skin will clear up eyes, strengthen nails, hair shines more. It, it optimizes your absorption. Your absorption is going to be better when you're eating more simply. So, if you've got, if you're having like, the salads have been great here, I love them. And I'm not saying anything against them at all, but because it's quite complex for the body to digest, it's going to, it's going to be harder to digest. And it's going to take more energy from your body, from when your body could be healing things, it could be healing the other issues that are going on. And you can see that just in the skin, and the eyes and the hair, everything just goes up a level even further because that energy is not going towards the stomach to digest. For me, bananas are the ultimate because they're, they're just easy to blend them up. You know, they're easy to find, they taste good, yeah. they give you good energy levels. Bananas are best. Okay. Yeah. yeah, can you name like a half a dozen fruits that uh, would be a good option to do mono? Yeah. Uh, bananas, mangoes, what else do you say? Mel Dates. Yeah. Date? Oh, yeah. So, so Daterade. Well, pineapple. Pineapple. My energy is fantastic. Pineapple. Oh, I wouldn't do it. No. No, just because it's too easy to eat unripe pineapples. Yeah. Like you might be doing more damage than good. What about like kiwis? Kiwis. kiwis have to be really ripe. And then gold kiwis, I wouldn't do green, green kiwis. Peaches. Peaches. Yeah, peaches is my second favorite. Yeah, it's just all going to be really ripe. You're going to be experienced yeah. with fruit picking. All right. Because yeah. if you're eating this large quantity of like unripe fruit, right. then you're, you're getting some negative side effects. Okay. So probably just bananas, dates. Bananas, dates, mangoes. Yeah. All right. Yep. They're the best. I can't really name more than that. Okay. Sure. What's that? I won't complain about that. Yeah. How about papaya? Papaya? Yeah. I think it's yeah. going to be hard to get enough calories. It's going to be really hard to get enough calories to fuel yourself. 
it, like, it wouldn't make it easy on yourself. You want to be on the, the diet and to enjoy yourself and be able to do all the things you usually do. Did you ever do apples? Apples? Uh, not really. I know really. it would be fun to do like heavy exercise and like weightlifting on on food island. You can still do that. Yeah. Just gotta make sure you get enough calories. Yeah. I mean, like it's the ultimate in energy because it's so simple. So you have a lot of energy to do a lot of things. Quick, quick, quick. Yeah. Did you say that most of your meals are monomeals? Most, yeah. Yeah, definitely.